concerns there being able to win in the front court tonight and kind of overcome those deficiencies? No, real concerned, obviously. Um, we're going to have to have you know, everybody that's available play great, and I would assume that all three bigs um, beyond Baines and Horford um, you know, get ample opportunities. Where are we with the Greg Mini Road and the contract? I don't know if I can talk about any of that stuff, so I'll let others handle that. Anything new with, uh, with Gordon or Aaron? Um, yeah, both both really encouraging. Um, both back in Boston, we flew Aaron home yesterday to be seen um, by a foot specialist, and he uh, feels really good about it. He could play sooner than we thought, which is really encouraging. And Gordon's right around the corner, so um, I would not, like I said before, I would not rule either of them out for tomorrow based on what I've heard, um, which for Aaron was kind of a surprise um, yesterday, but. Um, Sounds like Gordon's made good progress too. Yeah, but we'll announce it when we next one. Is it neat for you to see uh, Ron Nord and Shelvin come back on the same team together? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I see them sitting on the bench together in the last game, right next to each other. That's fun to see. I mean, those guys were roommates. Uh, those guys were best friends, and uh, to get a chance now to be coach and player, I did. I did send them both a text and say the first time that Ron cusses Sheldon out, please, please send me the video. <laughs> um, that would be terrific. Or vice versa. Um, <laughs> and so uh, that would be, that'd, that'd be great. What's your thoughts on Ron? How do you kind of be a coach with the latter? Ron? No, Ron's really special. Um, you know, and, and I've always said I, I've never been around a guy that had such an um, unbelievable ability to walk in the room and lead from day one. Um, that was when he came in as a, as a freshman at Butler, he was um, not even close to one of our better players, but he was always the guy that could get the most out of everybody else in the room. Uh, and I think that that's, that's where he is. He's a special guy. He's, uh, he's been doing a great job here. It's fun to watch from afar. You know, I look forward to, you know, there will be a time where I'm just following his teams, and I'm looking forward to it. Coach, what's been funneled up to you about the way that RJ has played since he's had with you guys? Um, I mean, we're, we're really pleased with um, our G League in general. I thought Brandon Bailey did a great job this year. It started off tough, um, but, you know, I thought that they had a ton of injuries. Uh, PJ had a great year, signing RJ midway through the year. Every time that Robert went out, I just felt really good about it. This is their last game today. Uh, you know, we're thankful to all the players that were up there and the coaches that were up there. Brandon and his staff did a great job. Um, and I think it's a good place to be. And, uh, I know it was a heck of an experience for Brad. Brad, not to belabor the Marcus Smart stuff, but he had some pretty strong words about protecting himself out there. And uh, you said you would be talking to him between practice and today. So is, is what, what was that conversation like between you guys? Well, I'll keep exactly what we talked about between us. But the, the, the gist of it is we are all responsible to our team. And so ultimately we all have to, you know, one of the best abilities is availability. Um, and he knows how important he is. And so, like, ultimately, at the end of the day, that's, that's, a, that's a big deal. Um, he is a tough guy. He's a competitive guy. That's one of the reasons we need him late, um, because that's something that uh, I think he brings a contagiousness about him with. Free agency, how the guards get a lot of talk are obviously Kawhi and Tiger. What have you seen out of Kimball Walker this year? Well, you know, I don't really get into the free agency stuff, but I mean, Kimba's a great player. I mean, he's been a great player his whole time, and, um, and I know how much um, you know. Eva, you know, they value him here, and, and I know uh, from everything I read how much he enjoys it here. He's been terrific um, his entire career here, and he's, you know, um, culminated in the last you know, two or three years being an All-Star, um, which is a heck of an achievement, especially. You think about smaller guards in the league. That's that's really hard to do. And, um, you know, he put 43 on us the last time we were in here. He's had amazing games. Um, you know, for the better part of his career against us, he's a hard guy to guard. How much time did you get the last couple of days to watch the tournament? Um, I had it on. I didn't watch it near as much as I, I, I usually do, probably. Um, but there are some, you know, certain people that I'm watching because of good friends with them or. Um, teams that I've always followed because I like the way they, they do things. Um, and, you know, 
some of those guys in advance, some of them have it. But it's been, uh, you know, it's always fun to watch. I was so lucky to live what I live. You know, I always go back to that. And that's why, you know, seeing Ron and Sheldon sit together is, is fun because we just think about how lucky we were. I mean, we got, we got to go to two straight Final Fours and those are things that we you know, never get a chance to do. Um, so I'm thankful that I got to live it and I'm enjoying watching others pursue it. Did you have a shot to watch RJ make his shot back in 2015? I watched it. I did watch it. What was your reaction when you saw that? I was, I was just hoping his dad wouldn't break his other foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So at the time, I knew RJ a little bit, but I knew his dad well. His dad was a coach at IUPUI when I was a butler, so we were, you know, at every, um, you know, fundraiser and, and event together. So uh, I was just hoping he was okay. Carrie, 27 years old, you guys celebrate birthdays around here? We celebrate birthdays, I guess, but I never get invited. So, um, <laughs> you know, Kyrie and Gordon, 27 today. Or Kyrie, 27 today, Gordon, 29 today. Um, we have a lot of March birthdays, um, so uh, you know, happy birthday to those guys. It's amazing how young they are when you consider how good they've been. Thanks. 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 Thanks.